On Friday, Joe Madden held his annual Round the Horn event at the Valley Country Club in Sugarloaf Township, and for the most part, it was the same as in other years. Except this year, there was a change in Madden's lineup as he went to the bullpen and got his dinner friend, Mike Ditka. Jay and I, my wife, got to dinner with Diana and Coach Ditka at Ditka's and they hit it off immediately from Western PA. He's Ukrainian uh, background, Polish for me. There's a lot of commonality right there. So um, we started talking, we started having dinner maybe two or three times a season. And so when this event came up, I asked him if he'd be willing to come on and be part of this because I knew the reaction would be great for the, for the people in the area. So uh, that's, that's what it's about. We're kind of uh, dinner mates right now, dining mates. Dicka is familiar with the Keystone State. Before he was winning Super Bowls as a player and as a coach, he was growing up in Aliquippa and then went on to play college football at the University of Pittsburgh. I guess I will say it was a fun time to grow up in America when I grew up in Aliquippa. I, I can still remember things that now that I'm getting older, they flash back to me, you know, just climbing the hill to go up to the school, coming home where it was snowing, sliding down the hill, you know, I, I, it, it all comes back and it's, it, it's been a hell of a ride. This may have been Ditka's first trip to the Hazleton area, but don't worry, he knew of Hazleton for quite some time. John Yusino played at Hazleton High School. He played for the Pitt Panthers. Yeah. Put that on the air. John, I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> but we had a couple guys at Pitt from uh, this area. And um, I always remember Hazleton, and the name stuck with me, Ed Ferdinand and John Yusino, those two guys. I remember that. Another Pennsylvania memory that Mike Dicka has actually came on a basketball court when he was in high school playing basketball for Press Maravich. Press was fantastic. I mean, just a great guy. And then we they had this little kid, he was about <laughs> seven, eight years old, running around the basketball court. And he was making basket. He shoot the ball better than anybody on that basketball, I swear to God. It was Pete Maravich, and he was about seven years old. I mean, it was unbelievable. I mean, he was just fantastic. Ditka had a lot to say about life. And he did touch a little bit on football, but it seemed like he would always come back to his Aliquippa roots. For example, Pennsylvania has always been one of the top football states in the country. And I asked Dicka why he thinks Pennsylvania is such a good football state. And his answer had to do with the lifestyle he had growing up. And what is it that makes Pennsylvania such a good football state? Well, I thought originally, I don't know, you know, I'm from the west, western part of the state. I thought it was all the, you know... Work ethic. We had we everybody worked in a steel mirror on the railroad. All that, that and that, all those. We grew up that way. I mean, uh, my time was a uh, you call it blue collar. It was, it was probably a brown collar team because of the you know the soot and the dust and the dirt from the steel mill. But you know that was that was the life we had. You know, my dad. Uh, we didn't have anything, but we didn't need anything. My dad got up every morning and he went to work. My mother stayed home. She raised the kids. We went to school. It, it was a, it was a part of America that we've lost. And uh, we ought to get it back. Now, here's the part where I usually sign off and end the story. But rather than doing that, I'm going to end by leaving you with the most important question that was asked during Dick's media session. It was the last question that was asked, and it was asked by yours truly. And then, Mike, I just have one last thing for you. There's a famous Saturday Night Live skit out there, and yeah. there is never really an answer to the final question there. Who wins in a fight between you and a hurricane? But the hurricane's name is Hurricane Ditka. Well, the hurricane ran out of gas, so I whooped his ass. <laughs>